How would you like to dominate your service games? Well, if you can't hit the ball consistently deep, I got bad news for you. It ain't gonna happen. But not to fear, because in this video, I'm gonna show you a simple step-by-step -step process that's gonna get you hitting your serves deep so you can overwhelm your opponents, gain an unfair advantage, and make tennis a lot more fun. Let's get started. Hey there, Ramon Osa with you here, and as any great coach will tell you, just like Mr. Kangaroo here, depth is king. You gotta be able to hit the ball deep on your serve, your forehand, and your volleys on everything. Now, it doesn't always have to be deep. Sometimes you wanna use the short angle strategically, but I'm here to tell you that to have that option is an absolute necessity if you wanna take your game to the next level and start whooping that guy that's giving you trouble at the club. You know, once a month I get together with some of the best coaches in Southern California and we share ideas that we use to help our players get to the next level. And this morning, Don Henson, who has worked with some of the best players in the world, was talking about how to get his players to hit their serves deeper into the service box to help them dominate more points. And I wanted to share that with you, A, because I thought it would be really cool, and B, because it's really gonna help your game. But before we get started, if this is your first time on this channel, first of all, welcome. If you like videos that put the fun in the fundamentals of tennis so you can play at a high level for the rest of your life, then you're gonna wanna hit the subscribe button now because I make two of these videos a week for you and I think you'll really love it. Now let's get into this progression. All right, so step one is to go ahead and line up at the baseline you're, like you're gonna serve. And as you go to hit the ball, I want you to purposely hit the ball up in the air and just see if you can go off your racket kind of like a rainbow, something like this. Don't try to make the ball in or anything. What we're doing is just establishing a foundation of depth control. One thing that'll help you is on the finish, see if you can hold the finish like this in a balanced position until the ball hits the back fence. What this does is it kind of hot wires your serve into doing the right thing, kind of like my Uncle Mike used to do to cars. <laughs> okay, so next thing I want you to do is the same thing, only this time I want you to bounce the ball over the net like this. Now I know this is unusual, but you should know at this point that I'm a little bit unusual, so it's nothing out of the ordinary. My wife certainly knows at this point after seeing me sing to our poodle this morning. Uh, <laughs> Again, see if you can just hold the finish after the serve for at least two seconds after the shot to make sure you're balanced through the motion. Now believe it or not, just by doing these two things, you already have the full spectrum of the serve inside of you. You have the depth and you have the shortness, but I know you want more, so let's continue. Next, I want you to take the serve and try and hit the baseline on the other side. Again, holding the finish. And then, see if you can hit the bottom of the net. Then, see if you can hit no man's land. And then, see if you can hit the top of the net. And finally, go for deep in the service box. Again, holding the finish, just to check your balance and stuff. What this progression does for you is it gives your brain something specific to focus on. And the best part is, your body always knows the most efficient way possible to complete a given task, which we gave you with holding the finish, remember? As well as the aiming point, the place where you aimed. So when you practice this, you'll notice that there's a certain moment when it'll click and you'll feel what it means to hit the ball deep. Do this progression a lot, holding the finish, and you'll be a star by Tuesday. Now, a lot of people have trouble with the toss, and it just so happens that I've created a free training for you that'll show you how to fix your toss forever in five minutes or less, as well as show you one move for effortless power on your serve and a step-by-step -step progression to help you get massive spin on your kick and slice serves. And you can have that for free just by clicking the card or the link below, heading over to my website and grabbing it. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching this video. I had a great time making it for you. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor and just click the old like button down below. Uh, leave me a comment or a question down below so I can make a video for you to answer it. And share this with a buddy who's getting you killed there at the net or somebody who you would just like to see improve their serve. All right, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.